So, today I would like to do something uh, different. So, let's say we, well, our controller is working, uh, well, at least for movement, it's working fine, okay. We can attack, we can move, but you can see that our character is not really grounded and we can have a few issues like this as we see so let's try something new let's try and ground the character based on the nav mesh we already have if we switch on to navigation well we first need to bake uh, a nav mesh so i'm just going to control to select my ground and i'm going to do navigation bake okay and of course if something uh, is going to be an obstacle into your level you should also take this as uh, you know as navigation static uh, keep in mind that uh, this might be an area that your character won't might not be able to go if you are using uh, the same technique okay oops So, uh, I have my player controller and I have my enemy. I can assign a nav message into this. So, I won't be able to go on top of him. And we can switch this to each kinematic, a rigid body, because the kinematic, we need the kinematic or the rigid body in this case, because we have moving colliders, okay? And we are using the collider to detect attacks and so on and so on. Uh, we won't necessarily need the capsule collider anymore because the collisions are going to happen via the nav message agent. So we might be good with that, but it doesn't hurt uh, right now. So we can go with this. Let's add the nav message agent to this and let's open up a player state manager. So we need a reference now to our nav message agent, which means we need to go first and use the unity engine dot AI. And let's add nav message agent agent. Okay. As I said, you might not want to have them public. You can have this as uh, protected variables and not as public. But uh, yeah, I would like to have them seen for the purposes of the tutorial to just be showing in the inspector so you know if somebody has some issues they can just see it from there okay then on our player movement so move player character we are creating a target velocity based on a few things okay however now let's not delete it let's just comment it out instead of adding the velocity onto the rigid body and instead of doing changes onto the rigid body as we do here oops the target velocity for when we are on the air unfortunately it will have to change so it shouldn't it won't matter here and it we don't need to be reading the the angles anymore because we are moving the velocity of the agent just moves on a 2d plane so it takes care of uh, the angles up and down uh, automatically okay so i'm just going to comment all of this out as you see right out of the bat it just gets uh, it's just more simple to do this Current velocity, we don't actually need the current velocity anymore for any of this, I guess. But you know what? Let's not remove all of this. Let's just create. Okay, we are clear. Let's create a new method, which we're going to call move with physics. And I'm simply going to cut all of this and leave them in here. Okay, and I'm going to create the new logic from start. Now, we do need this 
this part of the code because it's our target velocity we still calculate the target velocity maybe this will change when we're locking on but for now we still want to calculate the target velocity based on the movement forward and the move amount we are using uh, we, we do have we do need a states is grounded as well and we're going to add the code inside the is grounded we also need to be rotating here so we can do handle rotation and I think if we just now use the velocity we have onto our agent so agent dot or states dot agent dot velocity equals the target velocity that should probably do it we are already rotating the same way we are rotating before we are just changing the way we are moving our character let's go and assign on the character state manager where we assign the reference for the agent and I think we can just do it in here okay and minimize that we have the navmes agent you can change the well actually you know what let's also initialize the agent because we want to update the we don't want it to update rotation because we are handling by ourselves the rotation okay clear uh, one small thing that we will have to change as well okay so we're moving we are moving a little bit uh, jerky as a moment as you can see we'll fix that it's not the character it's not the logic we did here because if you look onto the editor this is the left side on the scene view is really smooth okay as it should be it's uh, the cinema scene camera that actually needs a few changes because it moves on a different frame uh, on a different uh, so for example because the nav message agent is asynchronous it moves asynchronously as well okay however we don't have the animations yet which means we need to go back and bring our animations and from what you can see we're just reading the inputs to get the animations and not the velocity so just dropping the animations in here that should do it let's oops let's cut that and let's paste it here okay so uh, for the cinema scene we can try and change when the update method is happening as you can see we don't have a lot of uh, selections we have fixed update we have late update smart update let's see if late update will do the trick but I think it won't because it's still yeah no it actually fixed that okay so we're now moving based and clamped on the numbers agent and that's why we are a little bit of the air if you see his feet because we need to go under player controller and just give a slight offset on our nav mesh agent on the on the base offset okay because the nav mesh is not actually touching the floor there there is a slight elevation they are not on the same layer they are not on the same level okay and I think we can just change you could find this so basically is that point point four I believe uh, so let's yeah it's not point four it's definitely not point four let's do minus zero four no let's do minus one uh, minus zero nine, I guess, or eight. Okay, feel free to find 
to find it yourselves as well. So now, because I have the agent, yeah, of course I can move the other agent around because that's what we have it used. We're going to fix that. Okay, but we won't be able to, to you know, to climb up. Now, let's impose and let's go with 0 0.8. Let's add some differentiations onto our scene. Or whatever, something like that, I guess. Okay, let's do navigation. And as you can see, we now have some new paths we can take. And moving them up now, we're making sure so that we're moving the same way as we had while we were on flat ground without basically changing the code it's a code that works and everything just keep in mind i think the camera is doing some silly things and let's enable gizmos and yeah that's what i wanted to say just look at this this is an an error a fault of the nav mesh okay so this it clamps the character because it's always going to clamp the character it just tries, I don't know why it did it like this. That's really a fault of uh, the navmes. Okay, and now it's cleaner. So now we shouldn't have the problem we had before. Okay, so we're moving on the numbers and we know you can't fall below uh, obviously that's not what we want to do with a salt like game but it's really easy to know when you are on the ground or when you are not on the ground and if you play with uh, these values for example you can lower the agent radius to 0.1 it will take some more time to actually bake the tiles now because it's really closer to the edges Okay, and finding now when you are on the ground or not, it's just as simple as making a raycast forward. Okay, so if you are here, you can say, you know, just fall down on the next movement, switch to physics, which we're going to do on a different part. I don't want to complicate this part as well. Okay, so there's that we now have a grounded controller based on navmes uh, based on the navmes if we are moving uh, well if we are attacking you will see that our root motion is gone and why is that because we have it on a different uh, on a different state and uh, let's go find the state then we're sure we're not here okay so Uh, let's find our state actions and that will be uh, that will be inside the monitor interacting animations I think no handle uh, velocity input monitor input combo Mm. Well, okay, let's find it via the animator hook because I totally forgot what it does and where it goes. So here it is. If state is grounded, delta is higher than zero. Okay. Uh, this one takes your velocity and adds it right to the rigid body ve velocity. Okay, we don't need this. We don't need this now. All we need is states dot agent equals uh, dot velocity equals the velocity. And just like that, we're going to have the same effect we had with a normal movement. 
And of course the same code will work for enemies as well. Okay, so there's that. Now, you might notice that the feet are below the ground now. It's because I changed the settings for the nav mesh. I did the new bake. But even with this, we could just use foot AK to keep the feet grounded onto, well, you know, to keep the feet properly grounded onto the character, uh, onto the floor. Okay, so I'm going to move forward with this. We're going to have to create uh, detection for when we are falling or when we are jumping, what happens there. But yeah, that's how I'm going to move uh, forward now. Uh, with this series. Okay, we're going to be using an Avmas agent. An Avmas agent is also nice because if you're going to have multiplayer, well, okay, maybe not nice uh, when you have, uh, maybe nobody cares if you have uh, on, you know, multiplayer games like Souls like, but if you had, uh, if you had a controller for an FPS, for a competitive FPS, and you did know that everyone is going to be on top of uh, a navmes agent uh, on top of a navmes so you could be randomly checking if uh, they are looking if they are on a navmes and if they were not on a navmes then that means they're probably hacking the game and maybe they are on top of somewhere or something like that okay because you are moving based on uh, the navbest now it's really easy to detect if somebody is clipping or if it's outside of uh, the navbest and so on and so on of course the only downside i can i can see to this is that is this case exactly that we can't uh, actually that we have to basically detect now when you are going to be moving off uh, offside or off the of your level and enable the and enable basically the physics which is not something really that hard so everything is okay so let's finish with this part we did some fundamental change today but i think it's going to save us a lot of time in the future uh, a lot of time with debugging a few problems we had so as always, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff, more videos, more series, different other series, and some new stuff coming, then of course consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making a lot more of these videos. I'll see you next time.